Hello dear students, uh, welcome to our YouTube channel Literature Insights, an easy platform to learn English language and literatures in English. As you know, we are making MCQ's video on various topics from English literature. In this video, I have come up before you with 20 very important MCQ's on At a School is a non-fictional prose written by Subhash Chandra Bose. As we know, Subhash Chandra Bose has given a significant contribution in the independence of India. So now here, it is uh, very important to explore these uh, 20 very important MCQs from At a School by Subhash Chandra Bose. So let's study MCQs on At a School by Subhash Chandra Bose. Question number one, the non-fictional prose At a School is taken from, four options are here, A, an Indian pilgrim, an unfinished autobiography, B. An Indian Fair C. An Indian Independence D. An Indian Voyage and Autobiography Here the student has to select the correct answer for this question out of these four options. The correct answer is A. An Indian Pilgrim An Unfinished Autobiography The non-fictional prose at a school is taken from An Indian Pilgrim An Unfinished Autobiography Question number two who edited the autobiography An Indian Pilgrim An Unfinished Autobiography? Now here again four options A. Sisir Kumar Bose B. Sugata Bose C. Both A and B. D. None of these. The correct answer for this question is C. Both A and B. The autobiography An Indian Pilgrim An Unfinished Autobiography is edited by Sisir Kumar Bose and Sugata Bose. Question number third. At a school is about his school experiences at blank. A. Protestant European School. B. Ravenshaw Collegiate School. B. St. Xavier School. D. Jews School. The correct answer for this question is B. Ravenshaw Collegiate School. At a school is about his school experiences at Ravin Shaw Collegiate School. So now here in this lesson, the author has expressed his own school experiences at Ravin Shaw Collegiate School. Question number four. Subhash Chandra Bose was popularly known as blank A. Bapuji, B. Chachaji, C. Nitaji, D. Babaji. The correct answer is C. Nitaji. Subhas Chandra Bose was popularly known as Netaji. Question number 5. In Ravenshaw Collegiate School, blank left a permanent mark on the mind of Subhas Chandra Bose. So now here it is very important question from the student's point of view. When Subhas Chandra Bose was learning in a Ravenshaw Collegiate School, who left a permanent mark on the mind of Subhas Chandra Bose? A. His friend. B. The headmaster. C. One of his teachers. D. None of these. The correct answer is B. The headmaster. In Robin Shaw College at School, the headmaster left a permanent mark on the mind of Subhash Chandra Bose. Question number 6. In which of the following language Subhash Chandra Bose was very poor? Blank. A. English. B. Sanskrit. C. Bengali. D. Oriya. The correct answer is C. Bengali. Subhash Chandra Bose was very poor in Bengali language, which was his mother tongue. Question number 7. Subhash Chandra Bose joined Ravenshaw Collegiate School in blank. Here the student has to identify the year when he joined the Ravenshaw Collegiate School. A. 99, B. 1908, C. 1907, D. 1910. The correct answer is A. 199. Subhash Chandra Bose joined Ravenshaw Collegiate School in 1909. Question number 8. Subhash Chandra Bose writes about blank A. Sports B. Studies C. Love for Nature D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Subhash Chandra Bose writes about sports, studies and love for nature. Question number 9. The prose at school throws light on the various characters of Netaji like blank A. His father B. Jankinath Bose and Babu Beni Madhav Bose C. The headmaster D. All of the above 
The correct answer is D. All of the above. The prose at a school throws light on the various character of Netaji like his father Jankinath Bose and Babu Beni Madho Bose and his headmaster. Question number 10. In an essay written in school about what he would like to be in future, Subhash Chandra Bose had written that he would be blank, A. Magistrate, B. A doctor, C. An engineer, D. A commissioner. And the correct answer is A. Magistrate. In an essay written in the school about what he would like to be in the future, Subhash Chandra Bose had written that he would be a magistrate. Question number 11. What are the famous slogans of Netaji in the history of India's freedom struggle? A. Tum mujhe khun do, mai tumhe azadi dunga. B. Jai Hind. C. Both A and B. D. None of these. The correct answer is C. Both A and B. The famous slogans of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose in the history of India's freedom struggle are Tum mujhe khun do, mai tumhe azadi dunga and Jai Hind. So these are the favorite slogan of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Question number 12. Subhash Chandra Bose died in a blank, a road accident, b plane crash, c disease, d suicide. The correct answer is b plane crash. Subhash Chandra Bose died in a plane crash. Question number 13. Subhash Chandra Bose's knowledge of English was about the blank, A. Ordinary level, B. Imperfect, C. Not fluent, D. Non-effective. The correct answer is A. Ordinary level. Subhash Chandra Bose's knowledge of English was about the ordinary level. Question number 14. Netaji was not interested in blank, A. Sports, B. Games, C. Social, D. Political. The correct answer is A. Sports. Netaji was not interested in sports. Question number 15. Who is a founder of Brahmo Samas? A. Kesho Chandra Sen. B. Subhash Chandra Bose. C. Jankinath Bose. D. None of these. The correct answer is A. Kesho Chandra Sen. Kesho Chandra Sen is a founder of Brahmo Samas. Question number 16. What was the name of headmaster in prose? A. Sisir Kumar Bose B. Sugata Bose C. Jankinath Bose D. Babu Beni Madho Bose The correct answer is D. Babu Beni Madho Bose The name of the headmaster was Babu Beni Madho Bose in the prose at a school. Question number 17 the rank is, but the guineas stamp, the man is the gold for all that is taken from. So now here you can see one uh, line taken from the lesson. The rank is, but the guineas stamp, the man is the gold for all that is taken from. A. A destiny. B. A man's man for uh, that verse. First, Daisy Derrida. D. Daffodils. The correct answer is. C. A man's a man for that verse first. This is a poem. From this poem, the line, the rank is but the guineas stamp, the man is the gold for all that. Question number 18. Who wrote the poem, a man's a man for that verse first? Here again four options. A. Robert Burns. B. Robert Browning. C. Max Herman. D. William Wordsworth. The correct answer is A. Robert Burns. Robert Burns wrote the poem, A Man's A Man for a That Verse First. Question number 19. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose passed ICS exam in the first attempt at the age of blank. A. 22. B. 24. C. 25. D. 29. The correct answer is B. 24. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose passed the ICS exam in the first attempt at the age of 24. Question number 20. What was the highest virtue in ethical verses of Sanskrit? A. To obey one's father. B. To obey friends. C. To obey relatives. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. To obey one's father. To obey one's father was the highest virtue in ethical verses of Sanskrit. 
So these are 20 very important MCQs on a non-fictional prose at a school is written by Subhash Chandra Bose. So in this prose, when you go through the original text, you can easily answer all these questions given by me in this video. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel Literature Insights, so don't forget to share, like and subscribe our YouTube channel Literature Insights.